Hello and welcome to You Done Made That Up. I'm your host, Jackie Sutton, the owner of Anointed Edibles, and this is my cooking baking show. Today we are going to do something so simple. We're going to do a pound cake. I've got so many varieties of how you do them. You start them, put them in a cold oven, and cook them on 350, turn it down to 200. We're going to do this as simple as I have found it. I've got a basic five ingredient pound cake. My grandmother used to beat it with a spoon. We're not going to go that route. We're going to come up a little bit and use this mixer. Technically, it's easier. And normally, I would use my kitchen aids, but everybody don't have six quart kitchen aids at home. So we're going to use what we got. We got a little mixer. In this pound cake, we only have flour, eggs, a little sour cream, a pound of butter, and sugar. And a little flavoring if you want to add. But it's good just like it is. So in just a few minutes, we're going to come back. We're going to add our ingredients up and see what we're going to come up with. And welcome back to You Done Made That Up, where we're going to be making a plain old delicious pound cake today. What we're going to have, what I have in my bowl now is a pound of butter. And we're going to whip that up. And what you need to make sure that your butter is at room temperature so it'll whip up nice and fluffy like that. All right, I'm going to add my about three-fourths cup of sour cream. That's my little secret ingredient because don't nobody want no dry pound cake and that'll just bring it a little, make it a moist for you. It's not like it's gonna taste like sour cream or anything. All right, I'm gonna add three cups of sugar. Just regular great granulated sugar. first. Like I said, usually I would have my big kitchen aid out, but everybody don't have a six-quart kitchen aid at home. Most people have these handheld blenders, which is just plain. I remember my grandmother using one of them big old wooden spoons. I don't see how she did it, but those cakes were just as smooth and good. All right, see how nice and fluffy that is? That's that real butter, real butter in there. Next, we're gonna add our flour and eggs. Now, I made the mistake of opening up the eggs first, but they go in one at a time. Flour, egg, flour, egg, or vice versa. So we're gonna play like I didn't open them up, the first four, and I'm gonna add one egg. And you don't want to over whip them. As long as you whip it till you don't see the yellow anymore, it's done. Sometimes when you over whip desserts or anything that has eggs in it, it can make them tough. All right, that's one egg. And one half cup. It's going to be a total of three cups, but I used the half a cup with my flour to help me count with the eggs. So I know six eggs, six half cups, which is three cups of flour total, and six eggs. All right, we'll add that one more egg. We'll just mix it to the yellow down. It's maybe about 30 seconds. Then I'm going to add another half a cup of flour. I tell you, this is the easiest pound cake recipe. And I found it at a, in an old book, a recipe, a recipe book that a church had made. Probably got it at the thrift store. I don't even know where the book is now. But I remember the recipe, so I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, we really be done made that up. <laughs> Third egg. All right. And I got my third 
third half cup of flour. This helps me keep track, doing it with the flour and half cup. This is gonna be so good. Good and simple. Just five ingredients, you can't beat that. That's my fourth egg. And you definitely want to make sure that you don't overbeat it since you do have to put in one egg at a time. All right. Yeah, work it, turn that bowl. Work it, turn that bowl. Like I said, I don't know how Granny used a wooden spoon. Got that fifth egg in there. All right. I guess it's my fifth half. have my oven preset for 325 so it's nice and hot all right that's the sixth egg we're gonna whip it to that yellow half I'm going to add me some more vanilla flavoring, probably a teaspoon or two. I think I'll go ahead and put two in there. And then I've got a little lemon extract. Put about a teaspoon of that. And sometimes I will add some almond. But I don't have any, so we're not going to add that today. <laughs> so let's whip that up. Mm -hmm. It's coming together. And it will be thick, because it's a pound cake. You know how thick pound cakes are. They're supposed to be anyway. So now I'm going to get my pan. I got a nice old bunt pan. It's not the old kind where the center used to come out like Granny used to use. Seems like when I used to use those, it always stuff spilled out the side. So I found something that's all made together. I'm going to spray my pan with my Baker's Joy. And if you don't have no Baker's Joy, you get you some shortening on a napkin and you rub that down in there real good. Put your little flour, shake it around in there. Bam, you got your baker's joy right there. <laughs> when we come back, I'm gonna already have this in the pan and ready to go in the oven, and we'll go from there. All right. Bring your camera on over, honey. I want them to see how it look. See how nice and thick that is? It's not gonna be real thin like, uh, you know, regular cakes. But see, this is the best part right here. That's what I remember, granny. That spoon, ain't nothing like that spoon. <laughs> And we're going to take it over here and put it in our oven. It's already preset at 325. And we're going to let that cook for like an hour and 15 minutes. Check it with your toothpick. If it comes out dry, your pound cake is ready. We'll be back in an hour and 15 minutes to get our cake out. And we're going to see what the Lord will have us to do. Hello and welcome back to You Done Made That Up. Well, today we made a simple five-ingredient pound cake. I've let that pound cake cook for an hour and 15 minutes at 325. It came out perfect. My little toothpick was clean when I checked it. It's cooled off. I'm going to flip it out on the plate 
We're going to slice it and see how good it is. I tell you, this reminds me of that scripture in uh, 1 Kings. I think it's 1 Kings 17. Ooh, look at that. Ain't that pretty? Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. That scripture in 1 Kings 17 where the woman, and well, she was a widow woman, and her son, she was getting ready to die, and the man of God came to her and asked her for some water. She said, I got you on that. Then he asked her for a piece of bread or something to eat. And she said, well, you know what? I just had a little bit. I was going to make this. Me and my son was going to eat it and die. And you know what that was? A cake. She made the man of God a cake because he instructed her to. He made her a cake. She made him a cake first. He ate it. God blessed her whole house so she ain't go hungry. Her and her son live on and on. A cake blessed that man of God. Let's see how much this cake going to bless my man of God. I'm going to call him in here in a minute. Y'all go back and check it out. That's in 2 Kings 17. Look at that. You see that? That is perfect. Look at God. Won't he do it? He said he would. Nice and moist. Now we're trying to eat better in this house. So I didn't make any caramel icing to go on it. It may be another recipe we tried another time. I got a little strawberry glaze. I'm going to put a little on the little side. A little fruit. I remember my grandmother used to make cherry jello. I haven't had cherry jello since I've had pound cake with her, and it's been over 20 years ago. I just thought about that. Cherry jello and pound cake. Today we got a little we got a little strawberry and strawberry glaze and pound cake. So Granny, I'm still thinking about you. That looks delicious. Let me call my husband in here. We done had our little dinner. That's our little dessert. Baby. Man of God. Hey. hey. Got our dessert with us. We got us an old-fashioned five-ingredient pound cake. Look good, don't it? Ain't that good? Yes, yes. Let me let you try this and see what you think. Oh. I know we're trying to do better, so I didn't put no caramel icing on. Just got a little fruit on the side. Oh, I get the first bite. Yes, you sure do, man of God. Head yeah. of this household. All right. Go ahead and try it out. Is it good, baby? Mm -hmm. Now, is the cake mm -hmm. moist? I'm sure the cake is moist. Just a little bit of sour cream in there makes a total difference because nobody likes a good pound cake that's dry. <laughs> I just thank you all for tuning in to You Done Made That Up, where I'm Jackie Sutton, your hostess, and this is my wonderful husband, William Sutton. And we're going to see what we're going to cook next time. I'm going to seek the Lord and see what the Holy Ghost will help us to cook. Again, I thank you all for coming out. Thank you all for visiting our, my channel. Try out this recipe. And next time we may make it with some good old caramelizing. Mm -hmm. See you all next time on You Done Made That Up. Bye-bye.